Hey y'all, welcome to the Birmingham Real Estate Market Update. This is the 34th week of us going through and looking at the Birmingham real estate market week by week, and as well as looking at what's going on in our broader economy and how that might affect us in our market here in Birmingham. So we're gonna do both those things today and we've got uh, really a lot to cover today. Uh, first thing that I wanted to mention is that I am doing a webinar on uh, 12, 15, 20. It'll probably be around six or seven in the evening and go for an hour or two. And it's just gonna be a breakdown of the Birmingham real estate market, invest specifically around investing in the Birmingham real estate market. Uh, a lot of y'all know that I am a real estate broker uh, that I work with a lot of investors and I'm also an investor myself and uh, own properties here and have done kind of a little bit of everything along those lines. So I just really want to um, want to share and kind of want to give back to anyone who's interested in learning about our market. So uh, that the link to that will be in the YouTube description below and I'll kind of keep that uh, in the front of your minds as we head towards the 15th. That's a Tuesday. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to mention that. And then there's also something that's pretty big news along the stimulus front, especially for business owners, uh, entrepreneurs, sole proprietorships, uh, independent contractors, anyone in that kind of landscape. There's some new developments that are going to be really positive and you definitely want to stick around for that when we get to that section because it's kind of time sensitive. So uh, let's go ahead and get started because we do have a good bit to cover. Uh, I want to thank Jeremy Galloway, who's one of my good friends and also a realtor. And he showed me how to find uh, this, the stats specifically for our greater Alabama MLS that covers kind of the Birmingham area. So we have continuity now. I thought we were going to lose it last week, but we have continuity through our numbers and we're back to just looking at our greater Alabama MLS, which covers the Birmingham Metro. So we had 432 closings this week that compares to the same week last year at 400. So we're running a little bit ahead of schedule. And if you look at last week, now that we can pull those numbers again, those are also running a little bit ahead of schedule, which I think you know, really makes sense. I think we're going to probably see more transactions uh, this this month as we have in the last couple months, kind of making up for that lack of activity in the earlier part of this year. We did see active listings are down to uh, 3,054. So that may be indicating uh, our kind of recent restarting the decline of available inventory, or it may just be kind of a blip. We saw that from the shutdown. Uh, we really started seeing inventory falling, 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 and it's stabilized for the last two months. But this may be a sign that it's gonna start falling again, and that may just be seasonal, seasonal, that there's less listings available in the colder months, but uh, still something to keep an eye on. So uh, that's kind of our, rundown for the Birmingham market. I'm really thankful that we can continue looking at it and have continuity in the data and look at it the same way we have this whole time. I've been doing these videos. So uh, I had last week, I actually got a couple requests from people who watch this show and asked me for specific information and specific research on um, a couple things. And I'm going to start trying to add that into this video because I think it's interesting. It helps me to look at data like that and I enjoy sharing it with y'all. Uh, if there's anything that you're curious about or want me to look into, I'm going to kind of keep a list of what people send me and what uh, what I'm interested to, to dig into and share with y'all. So um, those are examples of what I'm going to be looking for. I don't know if I can find the data on mortgage forbearance, but I'm going to check it out and see and uh, and then share that with you all. So if you have anything, you can send it to me. Uh, my, uh, my email address is in the description in this video. 
below on YouTube. So, uh, and it's just my name, robert.h.drum at gmail.com. So, uh, and then the other thing, so this is what I really wanted to mention. Starting Monday, if you remember the Revive Alabama grants that were for small business owners, that was a program specific to small business owners in Alabama. There was $100 million worth of grants and they were going up to 15,000 per request. And they ran out of money for that program. There was not a lot of uh, marketing for it. It kind of just, it just ran out and it was, I think a lot of people didn't hear about it. And I wouldn't have heard about it if I didn't have such a, a great CPA that shares this stuff with me. So they have actually revived the Revive Alabama program and called it the Revive Alabama Plus grants. And they have $200 million that is available in increments in a, up to $20,000 grants. And that's for small business owners and independent contractors, kind of all the people that qualified the first time that have had their businesses affected by the COVID-19 virus shutdown, as we all have. Um, so those are coming available Monday is when the applications start. And I believe the window closes on the 4th of December. So definitely, if you're watching this video now, don't delay, go ahead and get an application in Monday. And that's kind of the biggest news in terms of stimulus that we've had in a couple months here. So wanted to share that with you all. Uh, I know a lot of people benefited from it. First time uh, I mentioned this, so should be good relief for small business owners the second time, hopefully. Uh, there's a couple of things that are just kind of hangover overhangs in the news from the last couple of weeks, the election results being contested, potentially return of restrictions that may be coming as COVID numbers are spiking, and then the potential for a vaccine and all the numbers and all the implications of that happening. So those are just things that we're keeping an eye on and want to see, you know, how that plays out. But definitely the Revive Alabama Plus grants. Uh, I'll put the link to the information on that in the description below. Uh, so you can, uh, so you can at least find out the information on it and then apply on Monday. And other than that, happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all of y'all. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll put the, again, the description for my um, webinar I'm doing on investing in the Birmingham market. That'll be in the description. If you want to contact me, that's in the description. And thank you all so much. Uh, I'll see you all next week. And I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel. I'm going to continue making these videos and hopefully providing value to you around the Birmingham real estate market and anything else you have going on here. And uh, again, my name is Rob Drum. I'm a real estate broker at EXP Realty here. So uh, I will see you all next week. Thank you.